From the bustling metropolis to the bucolic Blue Ridge, the state of Virginia is as rich in diversity as it is in history. Just under 100 miles from Charlottesville lies Alta Vista. The small town in the Piedmont would not appear to be a hotbed for college football, but geography has no bearing on talent. The latest to make the leap to FBS football is sophomore and longtime UVA fan Juan Thornhill. My godfather, he took me to a UVA football game. Just being, being able to be at the game was kind of amazing as a child. And just watching the older guys, it was great to just like see them play and be in action. And me growing up, I was just thinking like, I want to be just like them. I had a few guys from my local area that actually came here to UVA and had great success here. Vickel Hall from Gretna, that's one of my rivalries in high school. Cedric Pearman from William Campbell. I wanted to go down that path like being able to come to a school and get a great education. So if football doesn't work out for me, I'll have something to fall back on. Being athletic is just, you're gifted with being able to play many different sports, many different positions. Like in high school, I was a part of three state championships in basketball. In football, I was part of two. Just being a part of everything in a small town and everyone know who you are. And like all the children look up to you, is just a great feeling. The defensive back's extensive athletic background has served him well in adjusting on the fly as he draws on offensive experience to aid in his defensive training. Changing positions isn't like a big thing to me because like I said before, I'm just used to it because my freshman year in high school, I actually was playing receiver and cornerback. But then my sophomore year in high school, they moved me to safety and the quarterback. So like I'm just, I'm used to switching and having to adjust everything and take all the adversity and just throw that out the window and focus on what I need to work on. And with this new coaching staff switching up the defense, I was just, I felt like this year it was like a year that I needed to step up and try to be like a leader on the team and play a, a great role so I can help us win. At first I was a little, a little scared about it. Like I didn't really know how to play cornerback anymore. Coach Howard just too, he just told me, one, go out there and try to cover that guy. Like, then he didn't give me any tips or anything. He just said, go out there and cover that guy. And like, I got beat the first time just because like, I haven't played corner in forever. Some coaches would just, you get beat and they were like, oh yeah, no, I'm not gonna let you play that because you don't look comfortable there. He saw that I wasn't comfortable and still kept me there so I can keep working at it. I'm probably 190 pounds and that's not that heavy to play safety. So he put me in a spot that it fits me more because I'm good at running, I'm good at jumping. Playing receiver in high school, it taught me some of the moves that someone would actually try to put on you. And me playing quarterback helps me out a lot because I know sometimes when the quarterback's going to lead him or like in a situation, he might throw a back shoulder. It just allows me to make plays. Thornhill's close relationship with coordinator Nick Howell and his fellow teammates helps unite them in times of adversity and success. He is honestly one of the best coaches I've ever had because like, I never felt like a close bond with one of my coaches before, but he's a coach when we're on the field, but a friend when we're off the field. I believe that will bring a unit together and make us like a lot better just because your coach is, is treating you more like family than just like a player. So I, I really like Coach Howell a lot, and he, he played a great role in my development. We're way closer now than we were before because they put us through some hard situations, like in practice that not most college teams can actually get through. And, Putting us through these situations actually brought us closer. And I like the feeling of that because the guys, there they don't feel like just someone that's on my team, like a stranger, like everyone has a close bond. We're more like family. And I like the situation he's putting us in. And I believe it helped us get through adversity and get through hard things together. If we're not winning, we don't quit. We gonna, we're gonna keep fighting until the end. Despite growing up in the spotlight of a small town, Thornhill's position as just one part of the larger Cavalier family suits him just fine. In high school, I didn't like the shine, so like if I have to go talk to the media, I didn't like it. They used to always ask questions about me, and I, I don't feel like I deserve that because without my teammates, I'm not the person that I am. I'm not the big dog on campus anymore. I'm just like a normal guy that's just trying to help my team win. I like the role that I'm playing now because all the shine isn't on me and I just like being quiet and playing and just doing whatever I can to help my team win.